a lot going on around here. It's actually still daylight for a change, which is a little weird. Um, but yeah, anyway. Excuse me. Welcome back to the videos, everyone. It is wonderful to have you guys here again, as always. Today, in this video, I'm going to be finishing off the finishing of the catch can. Um, I know I finished it off last video, but I now finally have some hose and 120 degree fittings that I've been waiting for. So I figured I'll make a short little video plumbing up the catch can permanently and I might even go and wrinkle black it or um, I don't think I'm going to polish it but yeah oh, fuck it I might just wrinkle black it so wrinkle black this and then we'll get it all fitted and plumbed permanently so yeah just one less thing to do. Um, I got the call today that my new converter is on the way. I'm on the way today or tomorrow. Anyway, I should have it next week or sometime, which will be cool. But I'm also back that way. I'm also going to look into the converter that was in it, and see if I can get a stall change out of it, and then uh, yeah, then I can pick between the two converters because the new one's probably going to be a bit too tight. Um, at least for a while anyway, so yeah, anyway, probably going to keep this video pretty short and sweet, so I'll go, I already came in the other day and I made up this line for this side, as you can see it, it runs up to the tower brace here where I'll zip tie the two together, and then down around here and basically 180s back into the the valve cover. So I need to do the same for this side. I've got a 90 degree fitting that I'll use here on top of the 45s or I'll put the 45 in here and then the 90 there. I don't know. I'll play around with that a bit and see which one I think I like the most and then yeah it'll run up the top and I'm not sure whether to make it run up here and then over or wrap right around and then sort of down around here and up to there. If I make it run down in that way, that'll leave a bit of a spot where oil can pool in it. I mean, it shouldn't get any oil in there, but um, that will leave a potential spot for oil to pool. So I'm pretty sure, stupid fitting, I'll just run it up like that. I don't know how well you can see it. Yeah, so I'll just sort of run it straight up like that, and then it can go basically over there and then along the strut tower and over there. I could route it right around the back, but I've already got so much shit around the back. And I don't want to run it under the manifold, especially when that one already runs up and over. Um, I don't know. I kind of could snake it through there. <sighs> yeah, anyway. I have a bit of a play around with that, and a bit of a think about it. And then, um, yeah, we'll get on to making up a hose, painting the catch can black, and then that'll pretty much be it until I can either think of something else to do or I get my converter sorted. Yeah, anyway, I'll get the camera on the tripod and we'll start making a line. That'll be fine. What do you guys reckon? A little stupid. Just up to there. And then over to there. And then
Oh. Oh. Uh, work out the length I need. Around there. Something like that, I guess. Reese's favourite part of the video, the wrinkle black. Yeah, I agree. It does look pretty good in wrinkle black, actually. Quite happy with that. And there we have it. One, one catch candy thingy. Ah, oh, there you go. That's where I'm going to end it in this video, guys. Um, there you have it. That is Ethel's now new oil catchy thingy. Not that you can see it very well. Uh, a bit upset about that, 
But maybe if I wasn't an impatient motherfucker, um, it probably never would have happened. But you know, uh, I only got myself to blame. Anyway, uh, I'm pretty happy with the wrinkle black. It actually does look really nice in there. I thought it might be too much black. Um, but yeah, no, it looks pretty good. I have come to like the 90 on 45 as well. Um, ideally, I should have just done 245s. Uh, but at the end of the day, I had those two fittings and I didn't have to pay for any more. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It calculates out to about a litre and a half. I mean, it's not big enough. Um, when Ethel finally gets time to get a cage, uh, I'm going to sort out some things differently in the boot. So I'll probably route um, out of that can to a tank in the boot. Just in case the uh, the worst does happen. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all the mods that I need to do now. Well, I need to go and test these, make sure that A, that doesn't fill up with oil um, too quickly, and B, they don't leak oil, and that the converter is a bit tighter, or I should say a fair bit tighter than, um, than what it was. Um, I also had trouble with the turbo touching the bonnet out at road trip, so I might add a couple of mil in subframe spaces just to drop the the engine down. I mean, maybe if I was actually good at fabricating, I could fabricate it under the bonnet. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, anyway, yeah. Anyway, that's gonna be it for me in this video, guys. Hopefully, it's not too long of a video. Um, oh, also, my bench is gone. That needs to go in the bin. All the scrap, actually. But yeah, my bench is gone. I got them fitted into the car. I think I mentioned this uh, in a video the other day. My highly expensive Chinese brides uh, now in the car, both passenger and driver. So I'm keen to see how they feel. Not that I'm doing much twisty stuff, but they're still lighter than the factory seats anyway, which I need to put this thing on a pretty big diet very soon. Um, again, that's a problem for future me when I get time to finally cage it. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for me in this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Please leave your likes and comments down below. Tell me how good that that does or doesn't look. Um, yeah. Like I said, maybe if I was actually good at fabricating, I could have made it better, but it'll do the job for the time being. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Don't forget, unleash the boost CO2 to the world, and I will see you guys in the next video. I have no idea what that's going to be. But hopefully there'll be something for me to film. Anyway, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye. Damn it, every time.